टी सी नंबर फोर सेवेंटी फाइव फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सो वाइल्ड स्पीकिंग येस्टुडे आई रेफर टू दी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड फॉर दी एक्सपोर्ट प्रमोशन काउंसिल बाय दी क्वालिटी ऑफ गुड्स सप्लाइड विच लेग बोथ imagination and integrity therefore not only have standards to be let down but some help has also to be given by way of packing properly to all those people who would also like to ask the honorable minister to clarify as to how he is going to lay down the standard for the goods will the contract between the buyer and the seller be concluded first and then the quality or standard will be decided the question of price has to be settled and we also know that the price varies according to the country that buys the article i think the house rightly led emphasis on the desirability of fixing some standard for goods for the home market and also for our imports the standards for imports i am told are governed by other international import rules those also must be varying according to the country of import in any case unless there are some standards laid down for the sale of goods in the home market there will be difficulty there are people who are used to do selling things different from what they had advertised the thing advertised is something else than actually sold so unless our traders are trained to respect integrity and some business morals it is not possible for them suddenly to rise to the occasion and out of patriotic motives sell goods of the particular specified standard i would also like to make a suggestion to the honorable minister and say that it is not enough to lay down the rules for the export quality control and inspection it is very necessary now advertise in the foreign countries that we have taken care of this aspect because of the bad name that we have acquired in the past on account of the business base of some of the exporters we have acquired a very bad name in some of the countries and in order to contract that we have to undertake wide publicity in foreign countries to undo what has been done so far there is one more question which i would like to ask the honorable minister so that he may clarify the doubt that may be in the mind of some honorable members it is 
stated that the funds for the export promotion council would be partly from the government and partly from funds paid by way of donation i want to know whether the donors if they are business people would not be in a position to take advantage of the position and misuse this export promotion council instead i would suggest that heavy fees may be prescribed for the inspection of the goods and if necessary all the money that is required should come from the government and no money should be accepted by way of donations i would also like the government to see that punishment is not so much in the form of fine because it is well known that where money is bought freely either through black marketing or by taking advantage of certain trade conditions fine is no consideration at all 10 or even a 100 times the fine can be made good by the people who indulge in these mal practices therefore it is not only enough to prescribe punishment for the persons who are found guilty under this act but it is also necessary that we prescribe heavy punishment for the inspectors so as to leave no room for suspicion in the minds of the people i would now like to refer to the question of co option i do not know why it has not occurred to the members in the opposition and those who doubted the need for co option that the variety of goods itself will not make it possible for the council to have members on the council who would be conservant with the qualities of all type of goods this council is really something on par with the upsc in my opinion and for every particular specialized itself it would be necessary for this council to co opt one or two experts belonging to that particular trade i would if i may like to clarify one point in regard to the statement that fell from one of the members yesterday with regard to the deal we had with poland and russia over shoes the deal was found defective because the shoes were different according to the changing fashions this particular item has come in the report of the public accounts committee the deal was found defective because the foreigners who are used to machine made goods expected goods of exactly the same standard as of machinery made goods our indian shoes were made by hand and all of them did not answer the same specifications these shoes 
were not meant for fashionable ladies or for others but they were really meant for the army